2006, when Ocean View Middle School teacher Eric Miller graduated from Michigan State University, recruiters from Guam held a couple of teacher fairs in Lansing, Michigan. So I picked up a couple of brochures and I, and I spoke with the recruiters briefly, uh, but didn't think much of it until later on I was going through all the different schools. I had options and uh, I just thought it would be really interesting to kind of come to a, place, a new place, um, really go out for an adventure, right? I'd lived in Michigan my entire life up to that point. So Miller packed up his belongings and moved to Guam. What initially was a two-year contract has turned into eight and a half years at the Agate campus. Miller currently teaches pre-AP eighth grade social studies along with sixth and seventh grade regular social studies, which is U.S. history, world geography, and world history. He says he engages his students using a variety of teaching styles. With the sixth graders, they really are, are motivated by doing different games, right? And so we read, we write, we do all what are the essentials. Um, but we also I like to have fun with the students as much as I can. Um, so we play games. Um, my first period history class, the eighth graders, they are really interested in debates. So I kind of come ready with some topics that will be more controversial, uh, we find, in history. I wish, I wish there were plenty, so, uh, the, but that, that's what kind of gets them going. Um, my seventh graders tend to be just more of a question and answer. Now, despite Ocean View being one of the older schools, he says the Department of Education has done a really good job at addressing his classroom's needs. And as for challenges... <laughs> You're dealing with students who are, you know, some students who are just can't get enough of their phones, they're online all the time, and so one of the challenges is to is to use technology but not use it too much, still expose them to reading out of a book, uh, having a discussion with real people, right? This is something that um, <clears throat> you kind of see fading with, with everything that happens online these days. And so that's one of the, one of the uh, jobs that I feel I have as a teacher is to get them to interact with each other appropriately, have a civic discussion. He says it was various teachers and professors throughout his schooling that inspired him to become a teacher, including his mother who teaches Spanish. As for what is most rewarding for this educator... When I hear them say, oh, then I, I don't even need them to say anything. Just from that noise that they make, I know they're learning and they're understanding. And as for what he hopes for all the students that pass through his doors... It's a combination of um, loving social studies, loving history, wanting to do the research, wanting to find the story. I tell my students there's a story behind everything. Uh, it's just whether or not you want to take the time to, to learn it. With this week's Touch of Class, I'm Jonah Goncharvis. Mm -hmm.